First of all, thank you for spending some time with us today. It's my pleasure to be here, yeah. So many decades you've been involved in business. And about 15 years ago, you gave an interview for, with Asia Week magazine. And the topic was about China. And at that time, you said, China at the moment is terrible. But in 10 years, it's going to be incredible. Could you have imagined, looking now at China, that it would be where it is today? In terms of the infrastructure, China now is the most advanced in the world. Infrastructures. You can see so many huge, modern uh, airports any, uh, anywhere in China, and also so many big uh, harbor, and also uh, high-speed railway. I think this is the most important change. Your companies have been working in Hong Kong and in China for many years now. Yes. How important has that uh, entrance into China been for Lipo Group? Unfortunately, because I am Chinese uh, educated, so I know uh, China more than the other people in, in Indonesia, not in anywhere. But in Indonesia, maybe I'm one of the person know better China. Yes. And also I have uh, so many friends in China. This is the advantage for me to go into the China business. Yes. Now that you are uh, not working necessarily in the day-to-day -day operations, as you look back over the decades, what is your what is your feeling about how Lipo Group has developed from a small entity, a small bank, up into the massive conglomerate that it is today? How do you feel about that looking over the decades? Our group business is uh, grew up along with the, uh, I mean, the, the changing of the era. You know, from 1950 to 1970s, Indonesia, has been independence. So at that time, no monopoly economy dominated by the foreigner. So everything is a zero. So we have a big change, chance for growing our business. This is the first chance. And second opportunity is the 1970 to 1990 is a globalization. So at that time I have hired about 86 Americans working with us. So this is a, a human resources globalization. And then using these 86 uh, Americans uh, reorganize our business organization and then change the management and then let our company go IPO. So this is a capital globalization. And certainly is uh, using these uh, Americans and then our business go international. So three, three steps in the globalization economy. And then I think this is the uh, the big change for our group growth. As you look back over the years, where do you see the missed opportunities? Which, which are the opportunities you wish you would have taken advantage of? Uh, so far, I think I'm very satisfied with our business. Nothing missed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for interviewing me.